hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be cutting and sewing this simple dress or gown kissing plates on the waist this african was i'm using a light net lace i used three yards for the lace by 60 and i use half yard for the african was from waist down is 36 inches by three yards very simple to cut and sew so if you are interested in knowing how i cut and sew this beautiful dress or this beautiful gown please keep watching i'm using half yard for the top and i'm using 36 inches by three yards for the damp part i fold into two i will fold again I leave about half inch for zip. This is where we sew zip on. This half inch. I will remove five and a half inches from the tip. Five and a half inches. I measure sixteen and a half inches. This is the half length. From one to sixteen and a half inches is the half length. I'm going to sew extra on the top to give me the ham hole where we sew sleeve on. This is the upper bust and this is the bottom. Five and a half inches. I will measure nine and a half inches. This is five and a half inches which I remove. The one I will cut extra. This one. I will cut extra material on the top where I will sew sleeve on i measure nine and a half inches i'm going to sew extra material here bust is 40 inches 40 divided by four will give me 10 inches then i have one inch to sew on that bust is 36 inches divided by four is nine inches i will add allowance to sew upper bust i will measure 10 inches and just cut one inch like this i will cut just here just this small part this is the front and back this is the side I will notch extra on top. I will cut 12 inches. Remember, it's for back and front. 12 inches. is 12 inches two piece to come this way like this i cut lining exactly the way i cut the front and the back and i'm going to start to sew before i cut the lace This is the upper part, this is the down part. I will place my tape this way after folding it to two. I will measure four inches and down four inches. And notch. is the center i measure from center to this place four inches and four inches also with this the damp part four inches four inches this is the lining i will measure from the center this is the center four inches four inches 
four inches. Okay, four inches. This where I mark, I will hold this place together and I still have four inches. I will hold here and I still have four inches. This four inches and this four inches. I will sew from this way. This is one and a half inch and the bottom is also one and a half inch. I will sew wide here and coming here tiny and wide on top. I will do the same on this side. Measure one and a half inch and one and a half inch. I will sew wide from the starting and tiny here and wide on top. I will do the same on the main material. For the back, I will measure four inches and the bottom four inches. I will hold from here. This is where I measure four inches. I will bring this way and join the four inches after sewing like after sewing here down i will still have four inches and also on the bottom i will still have four inches then i will hold this one and i will sew this way straight this is how i'm going to sew just like the way i mark this i will do the same on the front i'm done sewing Iron. This is how it is. I will cut two inches. I have four inches, then I fold into two. I will sew here. This is where I notch. I will sew here. This is where I notch. I will place the front the front lining on top i will bring it this way like this i will measure four and a half inches in place here from here four and a half inches in place here i have nine inches if you like, you can sew straight. If you like, you can curve. Here's the center. You can cut a sweetheart neck. Then you cut like this before you sew. I will measure five inches on the back. You can cut any neck on the back and also on the front or you can just sew it straight depending on how you want it then i'll go and sew this way on the back i will cut This is the ham hole and this for zip this way i will sew zip on this place i will measure removing five and a half inches and measure down 10 inches i will sew this way after sewing, I top stitch, I place on my machine like this and sew on top the lining.
I'll place this way. Okay, the lining. I will sew here and here with the lining. This one is in between the lining and the main material. I will sew here, here and here down. I will do the same on this side. Here. In between the lining and the main material I will sew here and here I will hold with pin I'm done sewing and I notch Is out this What I will do now is to cut the damp part and the sleeve. I will first go and sew the side, the two sides. I will measure 36 inches divided by 4 is 9 inches. I will measure 9 inches and sew. Bust is 40 inches divided by 4 is 10 inches. Then I will measure and sew from waist to here. And we sew from here. Then I will cut the damp part. This is how it looks like right now. I'm done sewing the two sides. I'll cut the lace and the, the down and the sleeve. Like I said, I'm going to use for the damper 36 inches by 3 years. 36 inches by 3 years. This material is 3 years. Then I will measure from I will measure from here 36 inches in cuts. Then I will have 36 inches by three years. This for the sleeve, I fold into two. I will fold again. I have into four. This is 22 inches. I'm using this measurement 22 inches. My round sleeve is four and a half inches. Then I had one inch to sew. I have 36 inches on the waist that is under bust. I notch and I will sew 
and leave allowance for zip on the back. I will bring this way in. I will use half inch to fold to the back. I will fold half inch this way. This is the center. This is where I notch in this place. I will pin the two together. I will look for the side of this black one and place on the side. This is the side we pin. In this side, I will hold the pin. You can see the extra. And I will use this one to print here. I will use this one to print here. And this one, I will use this one to print here. And then this side, I will print here. I'm done sewing the print on the waist. I sew this place, the back. I sew this place down. I leave about three inches open to the top where I'm going to sew zip on. I have my zip ready. Place and sew to this place where I sew the sleeve. I'm going to sew the sleeve. On the ham hole here, just like this one. I finish sewing this, I will sew the same on a face zip. And place inside. And so round. I'm done sewing. If you want, you can line in these parts. If you don't have on a wear, you can line in here with black material. This is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new, you are welcome. Please subscribe and remember the notification bell. As always, please share this video to everyone. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.